The city council taking on the issue of civil unions for same-sex couples. Council members are in a closed-door session as we speak, and this is coming after the town of Bisbee passed an ordinance allowing same-sex unions. ABC 15's Angie Holdsworth is live tonight, and uh, Angie, uh, there's a big question here whether this would go against state law. Well, yeah, and that's a question that we saw come up here with Attorney General Tom Horn, who's actually filing suit against that Bisbee ordinance. And now Council Member Colby Granville basically wants to look at whether or not uh, Arizona has jurisdiction, not over just marriage, but actually over civil unions, which could be seen as a separate classification. Now, I spoke with a Valley couple, uh, Erica and Shannon Cardenas, and they've been together for 10 years, and they actually had a wedding back in 2010. Now, after that, basically what they did is they went through a very long, legal process trying to recreate the same rights and protections uh, legally as a married couple would be able to uh, be afforded. And they say they still are worried about whether or not sometimes their rights really would be recognized fully in law. And they say what's happening in Bisbee and here in Tempe is really giving them some hope. It is a movement and, and that's what we're here for is to defend things that we think should be fair for everybody, um, not just us. And we want to be a part of that, but we want to make sure that everybody else that has love like we do is, is able to have the same rights as everybody else. And what is happening out here today is actually you have the council members with uh, legal advisors in an executive session. And so they're not able really to tell us what happens in that executive session. It's kind of a fact-finding mission, if you will. And I spoke with Councilman Granville who says, you know, depending on what happens in this session tonight, he may try to make it a regular agenda item coming up in the next few weeks. All right. Thanks so much, Angie. An update.